Newton KCCI has learned exclusively a Des Moines police officer with a long history of disciplinary complaints has resigned this morning. Des Moines police tell us Sergeant Greg Wessels stepped down this morning. Wessels is facing an internal investigation now after he made an inappropriate comment during a union meeting Tuesday. Police say there was a discussion about a union matter when the issue of an officer allegedly leaking police information came up. More than a dozen officers heard Wessels use an inappropriate and insensitive comment. Police say the internal investigation started that evening. It's incredibly serious. We, you know, we put a lot of effort into making sure that we leave um, our biases at home. We put a lot of effort into making sure that uh, um, our heads are in the right place and it's reflected in the things we say and do. So uh, this one was recognized immediately by the membership, uh, which is a proud point for us that our employees know that uh, what's acceptable, what's not, and that they, they feel confident enough in the administration that they're going to report it and, and the appropriate action is going to be taken. Now, Sergeant Wessels does have, a, does have a history of disciplinary action with Des Moines Police. You may recall this video from 2018. Wessels was accused of discrimination and using excessive force following a confrontation at the DART facility in downtown Des Moines with Kyla Williams, who was 17 at the time. The incident resulted in a $75,000 settlement. And that same year, the city of Des Moines paid an $800,000 settlement after a jury found that Wessels and another officer, Michael Fong, used excessive force against a man on Court Avenue back in 2013. Officer Fong, by the way, has been named the new Des Moines Police de-escalation instructor. Community activists have called for Fong's removal from that position. Now, this is still a developing story this afternoon. KCCI's Todd Magel is digging into these allegations. You can look for the latest on this story on our KCCI mobile app and on KCCI News at 5 and 6.